Did you think that Bronsky Beat were dead and gone after the departure of Jimmy Somerville? Well, that is not so. As you'll find out in a moment, I'll be talking to Larry Steinbercheck and Steve Bronsky. And this is from the album Hundreds and Thousands. This is Junk.
Beat and welcome Larry Steinbachek and Steve Bronsky. How you doing? What's it, Janice? How you doing? <laughs> What's <Janice>? it? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And you're well, I trust. Oh, great. Yeah. Full of the joys of spring. Full of the joys of London summer. <laughs> Fighting fit. <laughs> that is quite different from the original, isn't it? It certainly is. It's uh, a lot more fun, I would say. How did you get hold of this lady called Wendy Wilde, whose voice, voice features quite a bit on mm. that? Well, we first saw her over in New York in a place called The Pyramid, which we played in, and she, she did a performance there. We, really liked her voice, so we asked her to perform the album. She fits in very well with us because she's well into tacky things. <laughs> like us, you know, it's more of a comment on consumerism, which uh, she uses as part of her act. But it's wonderful because she mentions all of those dreadful things which are listed on the sides of packets of this, that mm. and the other. Right. Uh, well, how did she, actually, she do that? Yeah, well, she actually went around supermarkets kind of scouring the shelves for all these... I don't know what you call it. Monosodium glutamate right. and goodness mm. knows what else. I mean, she was Love potion number nine. <laughs> it's great. So what was the point in doing this Remix Plus album? Well, it's totally uh, an artistic uh, reason to begin with. Um, uh, we've always liked doing remixes of things. You know, it gives it a different feel. And also, since our last singer left, you know, we've got two tracks on there just waiting you know on the shelf and we wanted to get them out so he said well look rather than put them out as just a one-off you know this is what you can this is our, what our last singer did uh we thought we'd stick it on an album with uh, some remixes and i think it's great value for money did you have to talk to, to jimmy about it because you were doing a remix or didn't that matter um I think the, it went through the record company, the record company asked, you know, if it'd be okay, and they agreed, so and we went it, ahead and did it. As it turned out, he, he came to New York as we were doing it to uh, do a new vocal, so uh, it was much a collaboration. Mm. When it was announced that Jimmy Somerville was leaving the band, a lot of people assumed that, you know, that was it, Bronsky Beat had finished. I mean, people were saying Bronsky Beat had right. now split up, mm. but I was very guilty of doing it as well. <laughs> um, but we won't talk about that. Uh, how did you feel? Well, we was really confused because everyone said, oh, they split up. As far as we're concerned, we, we yeah, haven't split up, you know. Had left kind of thing, you know? Yeah. We, we had always wanted to make music with each other. And we didn't really we get the opportunity wanted. to, like, say, well, this is, this is what's happened, you know. <laughs> Our singer's left, but... As far as we're concerned, we're Bronsky Beat, we write the songs, we, we play the songs, we do everything on the record apart from sing. And we want to continue. You know, it's, it's inside us. We do the songs we write. We can't just stop because our singer's left. I think we've, we've chosen our singers uh, admirably so far. <laughs> um, so we continue. Because Jimmy had such a distinctive voice, has that mm. presented you with any problems looking for a new singer? Oh, well, we had to get away from the, that range, yes. obviously, because we don't want people to be, I don't know, compared, I mean, they will compare, but I mean, he's a, a new fresh singer. And you're not going to tell me anything about this singer at no. all, are you? Oh, he's very good looking. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, well, actually, it would be unfair of us to say now who it is, because we haven't actually told the person. Um, what's happened is we've got about six people to sing the, the track. And we said, right, we'll go away, we'll mix it. And then when we're sure which one it's going to be, we're going to tell them. But uh, we've only just finished mixing it. We haven't got around to telling them yet. But that, that's a new single we'll be out in November. And will, will your style remain the same? I mean, will you still be as funky? Well, somebody in the record company said today, they, they heard it, and they said, it sounds like Bronsky Beat, but it's very tongue-in-cheek Bronsky Beat. And I, think, <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's, it's a tongue-in-cheek record. And actually, it's about somebody joining a band and how their lives change. So it is kind of a song within a song. Uh-huh. A bit like Small Town Boy in many ways, because that was a sort of story, wasn't it, about mm. beginnings and what have you? Yeah. So once you've got this singer, who doesn't know who he is yet, because <laughs> you've, not told, you've not told him, uh, what happens? I mean, the single is released, and will you tour or anything? We're going to be doing some live performances before Christmas, 
which will be with our new singer. So there won't be commercial uh, gigs, it will be more experimental, because we're working with some new computerised equipment. And we want to put on a show which is not, hey, hey look, there's a band playing, but more that it's a, a light show, it's uh, an environment show. Um, so that we'll do that as a one-off. And new album out in the spring, and a tour to go with it. And and the guy that's going to be singing for you, I mean, that's a permanent thing because there were rumours that you were going to have this project thing, like um, in the way that Vince Clark does. Mm, well, I think we will continue our own projects anyway, regardless of what's happening with the band. Yeah, we're still doing things outside the band, but I think it's important to have a permanent singer. You need that yeah. continuity. You need it. Yeah, right. Yeah, we still like to work with other people. Anita Harris, if you're listening, mm. I want to make a record with you, lovey. Are you being serious? <laughs> I really do. Gosh, what was that song? Um, I could spend my life just loving. Thank you very much indeed for dropping in. And perhaps uh, when you've decided upon the new singer, you'll come and visit us again. Hey, we certainly will. talk to Bronski Beat Complete. Uh, it's been a pleasure <laughs> being here, Janice. Thank oh, you. and a quick hello to the two girls outside. I've forgotten your name, sorry. But uh, you're very cute. Bye-bye. Can I say a quick happy birthday to Mike? Yeah, of course you can. Happy birthday, Mike. And we'll play this. This is from the Remix Plus album, and this is Small Town Boy, Larry and Steve. Cheers, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.
album Hundreds and Thousands, and that is Small Town Boy. Thank you very much indeed once again to Larry and Steve. And new stuff from Bronski with a new singer in November. And I've just asked them if they'll do a session for the show, and they've said yes. Talking about sessions, we...